Now, overall global AI tools is seeing a very slow uptick, but pretty slow. Like this has definitely flattened out over the last six months. All global traffic, you can see, has definitely started to uh, flatten out. And you can see definitely, you know, into some different gener general usage. But some of the charts that I really want to point out here is this. So the blue is OpenAI, which used to just absolutely dominate the market, but their market share is quickly fading, right? So daily average uh, average visits here is actually declining for OpenAI. Gemini is quickly becoming more. DeepSeek has grown a little bit, but then like grew quickly, but then backed off. Claude is the other one that's growing very quickly. So Gemini and Claude seem to be the real winners here that are growing very quickly. Now, as we get into a lot of the other parts, we start talking about code completion, right? And we see a lot of the vibe coding tools that peaked up really fast around May, right? So these vibe coding trends spiked really fast for the six months. And now we're seeing a very sharp decline. And we're not seeing a decline back and decline level off. It's a sharp decline. These are running out quickly. I frequently come across uh, consulting opportunities where people are asking me to come in and fix things that things like Lovable built for them or that they used Windsurfer to try to vibe code into existence. I'm not a big fan of character and chat AI tools. I think these are a total waste. I think the amount of cost per that is just off the charts. I think as soon as somebody has to actually start paying for how much inference it takes to run their character, um, they're going to go find real friends. Now, um, and, and that's a lot of these other ones here, but there's a lot of meat in this. So this is another report here that I wanted to get to. Great software quality collapse, how we normalize catastrophe. Apple calculator leaked 32 gigs of RAM, not used, not allocated, leaked. The basic calculator app is hemorrhaging more memory than most computers had a decade ago. 20 years ago, this would have triggered emergency patches and postmortems. Today, it's just another bug report in the queue. We've normalized software catastrophe. Catastrophes, can't say that word for some reason, to the point where a calculator like 32 gigs of RAM nearly uh, barely makes the news. So we can see some of the problems here that he's reporting. And this is the problems. Nobody's wanting to talk about this. It's how much, uh, you know, these problems are being, and nobody's noticing this. And this is why um, we're seeing, um, you know, we're seeing these vibe coding tools start to really crash because people aren't taking this seriously. And so there's a $10 billion blueprint for disaster, right? It's talking about the crowd strike and how that went. If you like this clip, make sure you check out the full Startup Hack live video here because we've got lots more for you today.